As a German fan, um, it's the World Cup 94 in the US. I slowly realized that we are not that great. <laughs> After winning the, uh, the World Cup 94 in the US, we got knocked out by Jordan Lechkov and the Bulgarian team. That was the first uh, impression I had. And I've still the header uh, in my mind uh, when we got knocked out. It was kind of a passion. Normally, the, all the Bundesliga teams, but for the World Cups, the special editions and names, numbers, I was quite good at that. So remembering uh, all the teams and the names. So Panini was a big thing, uh, even back in the days. The last before I joined, so the 2002 in uh, Japan and South Korea, where we finished second. It was just brilliant to see that a German team is capable of achieving special things, even um, if we have not the individual stars. When we played Poland in Dortmund in 2006, I was on the pitch. I witnessed uh, one of the greatest atmosphere I've ever been involved in when we scored the winner in the 95th minute from Oliver Neuville. We won it in the last second, so we were qualified for the next round. Amazing feeling and, as I said, atmosphere and the stadium erupted. The biggest thing for me to, to be involved in the World Cup as a fan was in kind of 2003, 2004, when it was clear that we have got the World Cup in 2006, I thought it's going to be amazing to be there, to be in the own country and to be a fan and to, jo to join the public viewing and stuff. So I was really excited. Then to be able to play that tournament was absolutely amazing. But it was one of the greatest summers in my life. And for a lot of people, I would, I would think, because we had the really the first chance for Germany to show how, what great country we are and how friendly and polite and welcome to all the countries and I think that changed a lot in, in, our, in our history and, and the way people see us as a country. So that was a huge opportunity we took by the chin and um, took really advantage of. I think to watch the final in 2006, Italy against France, and then Zidane obviously had butted the chest of Materazzi. <laughs> that was just unreal, surreal in terms of, oh, that could really happen, and he got punished and got a red card for that. That was heartbreaking, kind of. Other than the sides I've played in, I'm a huge fan of the Brazilian squad in 2002. They played a 3-5-2 and had magnificent players with Ronaldo on top, with Rivaldo in behind. That was the team um, I really liked. Back to back Germany would be, I think, the biggest achievement on that stage. So I think to go for it and to have the guts to say that we are going to do it is, is the first step. Look, it's a shot. Yeah, to the camera. Quick, while no one's looking. Subs <laughs> Quick. Subscribe. Once more, once more for luck. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>